one as well, defending our WBO World to Eight World Championship. And uh, over to you guys for questions for Sandy and the team. No questions. <laughs> Who's next, Eddie? Well, if in in your ideal scenario, you tell me who would you like to fight more than anyone. Um, I want to be undisputed, so I will take any fight that leads me that way. You, there's massive fights. We've got the UK girls, the US girls. Um, Tasha Jonas got a belt. WBC is vacant. You got McCaskill and Lauren fighting. So, there's yeah, I'll take any fight to be honest. Um, yeah, I knew what I needed to do, and I knew that's what I needed to do. So I, and I said that's what I was going to do. So, um, yeah, I knew. I felt like yeah, that that's the way it went, and that's how, how I planned it going. It didn't rattle me because I just I knew that that wasn't going to be the case, and that's why I said that it wasn't going to be the case, and and I was the one who took her to deep water. So, um, yeah, it's well, it's a fight, isn't it? The we're going to go back and forth, but um, I knew what I n I knew that she couldn't do that, and that's why I, that's why I said it confidently. I kind of visualised it kind of going that, that way. Um, but obviously I didn't know what round. I just knew that that's what I needed to do against her. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Like we said, um, big fights. Um, I look, I'm a world champion and I, I want to be undisputed. So any anyone who's next to any big fight, I'll be happy to take. Yeah, I think it's two things really. One is obviously the new team. So, you know, Terry actually made a point in the, the pre-fight build-up that, oh, you know, it's, this is the best time to fight Sandy Ryan. You can actually con try and convince yourself that that is the case. And sometimes, by the way, that is true, that when someone joins a new team, you don't know how it's gone out there. She might have hated it. She might have not gelled with her new coach. She might be mentally all over the place. Unfortunately for Terry, it was the opposite. You know, it's worked really, really well for her. So I think that was really impressive. But for me, the most impressive thing was the bounce back after the McCaskill fight because that was such a sickener. Like, it wasn't even close. And it's like, respect to Jessica. You know, she's been in some great fights, but it was so wide. And you sort of have to ask yourself, like, is it really for me? You know, am I just going to get this kind of luck and it's going to just rob me of my opportunities and big fights and that's one of the reasons that I wanted to, her to take this fight because just the standard defence after that kind of disappointment against a no-name opponent it's just not really what she should be about after that McCaskill fight so you know we need to thank Terry as well because she stepped up and they knew it was a tough fight because they've sparred together and they know how good Sandy is as well but you know like Steffi Ball said tonight after the fight he said look you know you, you made money tonight You've won two world championships. It's just really about being in big fights. And I think Sandy's in that stage in her career as well. She doesn't want a voluntary defence against someone. You know, I mean, the only voluntary defence that's out there really, for me, is Chantelle Cameron, which I think is an incredible fight. And although Sandy didn't mention her name, she did say to me last night, whilst she was eating ice cream, oh, I would <laughs> love that fight. But, you know, Chantelle's looking for massive fights as well. So... Those kind of fights, and the other fight, which obviously is difficult because it's the same team, is Michaela Meyer, which is a tremendous fight. But you know, I think really the champions are where it's at. For, I think realistically, probably Natasha Jonah. I think Natasha would, she might fancy that fight, you know. And we have no problem if it's the right opportunity for Sandy doing it 
you know, on Sky if we have to go over there and challenge or we'll make a big offer to do it on the zone. You know, we've got to give her the opportunity to roam free for the belts. But obviously, we want to do it. She's a star with Matrim. We've had her for them to debut and, and with the zone, and that's where we'd like her fights to be. But if, you know, it was a case of, oh, we're not fighting over there, when we'll come over there and fight. And that's a big fight. In you know, I know she has to, she hasn't had a big fight in Derby yet, but sooner it's there. And Natasha Jonas is a big star as well. She's got a big, big profile, or it's a big fight in Liverpool. You know, and um, they're the kind of fights that I think she needs, really, rather than off the back of that performance. I'm not interested in just a voluntary defence against someone. And you know, she's going to want a load of money anyway. Yeah, that's, that's the plan, yeah. And I think it's difficult, you know, if you look at the female headline fights, there aren't a lot, you know, and that was the kind of fight that is just sort of borderline headlining tonight. And Terry mm -hmm. sold a lot of tickets, Sandy sold a lot of tickets as well. You heard the atmosphere, it was great. So, you know, A, Cameron, of course, headline. A, Jonas, of course, headline. A, I don't know, you know, it's obviously different. Maya, yes, of course, headline. But the big name, the big, a and B sides, definitely a headline fighter. But listen, it does, I just want to keep her active, you know, in big fights. So we don't have to headline, but if it's a major fight like that, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Have you got any areas that you'd like to touch on? Uh, Derby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, Derby and... Uh, yeah, any, any, anywhere really. I've done I'll America do last time. Yeah. I'll do it again if we need to. But um, where else have you boxed? Cardiff. Yeah. Yeah, I mean the big one obviously is the football club. That's very difficult to fill, Pride Park. But yeah. there's also the uh, the Bellagio. yeah Velodrome. There's been a show Next there before. I remember stadium. a long time ago. But I think she'd do really well in Derby. You know, I mean sold quite a fair few tickets tonight. And I think when you go back somewhere where there hasn't been boxing for a long time. I think people get excited about it in the city, you know? And yeah. you know, she's already got the freedom of Derby, haven't you, as well? Yeah, I've got to go and pick it up uh, Monday. Exactly. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Still the WBO world champion, and Sandy Ryan. Thank you.